Good afternoon guys, my name is Zach and welcome back to the videos. Today we are heading down to Queensland Raceway because we are going to be roll racing with Max's beautiful Octane Manual FG XR8. It's going to be a rad time, so I'll see you guys when I get down to Queensland Raceway. Check out this amazing cloud right now. I've just been driving into it and it's been following me everywhere I go. It's my own personal little pet cloud. How mad does it look with the sun though? Hell yeah. So we just made it down to Queensland Raceway. There's a few mad cars down here. So we have an R32 Skyline all caged out, track ready. And we also have one of the brand new Toyota Supras, the 2020 Supras. This is the second one I've seen now. And this is a street effects car as well. It's a, uh, it's a mad car. I love the number plate too. Man, this thing is angry. God damn. So up here we also have a track R35 and an R34 GTR right beside each other too. How mad do these things look? Both running some genuine Rota T37s right here. This is beautiful. Now these aren't drift cars as well. These are full on time attack cars as well. They had a massive time attack meet out here today. Um, yeah, this is rad. Now I've also got something we don't feature on the channels that often and that's a lot of supercars as well. So check out these two. We have a beautiful McLaren, I believe it's a 720S, and then also a McLaren Senna. A McLaren Senna is here out on the track today. How rad. That is mental. What? Beautiful R35 GDR sitting out here. Clean little Subi. Now I have no idea on what the I names are of these things, uh, but I'm just gonna say it's a Lobby Hawkeye. No, Hawkeye, that's the one. I'm um, yeah, an Evo Time Attack Evo up there, completely stripped out with Aero as well. Time Attack is definitely on the list to do one day. How rad are these? It's awesome. Is that the Supra? Is that a Supra? Pretty rad. I've seen uh, the second time I've seen two of the Supras side by side the JZA80 Supra and uh, the BMW A90. <laughs> We're checking pressures. This is getting serious, mate. This is dumping pressure. <laughs> this dude's so rad. How much are we pushing out again in this one? Uh, 377 rear wheel kilowatt. Like 505 horsepower. Okay. Oh, really? 117 pounds. Okay. And on a 3582, yeah? Hey? 3582? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, oh, okay. Oh, so you've upgraded completely. Yeah, right. Hell yeah, this thing's a weapon. This thing does not sound like a barra, but it most certainly is. What on earth? Oh, that's so this is the car that we're going to be going in first. It's a 650 horsepower. F6 running a Borg Warner high mount turbo setup. This thing is absolutely beautiful, and I'm so keen to uh, to feel how this thing goes. Oh, and by the way, oh, all good, <laughs> all good. It's also manual. How bad is that? <laughs> this thing is rad. Man, I'm keen to see how this thing goes. Should be good. Me too. What the, yeah, to the moon, mate. I want to hear this thing take off. Yeah, it'll be good, man. Definitely. That's awesome.
<laughs> Wait for <Wayne> sure. <laughs> That's awesome. He's telling you to go back. Just see if he can cut through it around here or something. What are you hoping for tonight anyway? So I'm just going to put you on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know man, just get a feel for the car and see what it can do. Definitely. Uh, it's my first kind of track day out. Uh, so hoping to beat Max at least. Yeah, I yeah. mean, that's all we want, right? <laughs> yeah, we, that's we already it. achieved that. That's we got that. <laughs> but no man, it's a good night. Just get a feel for the car. Uh, yeah. First time out, out at Willowbank, so we're going to make the most of it. Yeah, and there's some... Oh, first time out. Yeah, first time out in the, really? the track in, the, in this. So it'd be really? Great, not even like a not like a track day? Just at Willowbank. Session. I've been first time out at Willowbank. So. Wow, yeah, yeah, right. First yeah. time ever. That's yeah. very cool. You Here we go. go. <laughs> Oh yeah? My scream is going. Uh, uh, the car sounds, buddy. It hey, looks it's like it's fighting. good, man. On yeah. song. This thing looks like it's fighting some secrets. Yeah, definitely. never gonna show just how quick this thing is it's crazy <laughs> it's mental it's just all these cars in here are super quick and it's just making this thing look slow but it's, it's crazy it's pushing me back in my seat it's the manual you want I know <laughs> it feels so much better with the manual though it's making me want one <laughs> that's crazy little uh, 33 DDR sitting over there too sounds amazing Insane. yeah <laughs> I think so. 150 more horsepower but manual. Should get interesting. Max right here and I believe it's either the legacy wagon or it's the uh the Addy. Looks like the Addy. I don't have my glasses on. I'm blind. It should sound good. Max is killing it tonight. Is D solo? Oh. Next car we're going in. It's 500 horsepower, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sweet. That's that's what it that's what it's making, guys. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I wanted to make sure I was correct. <laughs>
I don't know if it was in second. Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely. That's cool, man. Yeah. <laughs> Things going good though. It never stopped. It's getting a bit warm. Yeah. No codes or anything though. Or yeah. That nah, looks good, man. I did a few cool down laps. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. So I just came back because this thing was breaking up a little bit. You probably would have heard in the videos the screamer was in and out, in and out. Um, it's running very rich too, like crazy rich. It's used so much fuel so far. So I oh, know we'll work on it. We'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, no, it's used for fun though. Radio, right, so next up, Max is you. There's a V8 power. Good. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Yeah. 5.4 litre V8 power. Probably won't be able to see me at all <laughs> but um i went out had to go in both brandon's cars uh well brandon brandon one brandon two uh, both of their cars and then we also went in uh max's xr8 and oh my god three insanely different cars max's xr8 just feels solid planted oh man it just feels awesome tonight um the f6 feels brilliant um i've never experienced something with a screamer that sounds just like that it sounds mental and uh, yeah, 
the XR6 Turbo U, oh man, the auto is just killing it tonight. Absolutely just banging through gears. It's awesome. Um, so uh, probably pick up with you guys when we start doing the finals and stuff like that. But um, yeah, no, so far tonight's gone really well. Oh yeah, and uh, sorry for the GoPro vlogging. <laughs> my apologies, I didn't charge my camera. <laughs> So the car just won't idle properly or do anything anymore, or? Uh, it's like it'll idle and then it'll drop. Engine lights on. Not timing, yeah, but it's jumping too. Possibly. You'll skip it. Oh, you'll, you'll see it in the in the um the log if you or the the code it'll if you. Tell you yeah. It'll give you somewhere to look at anyway. Yeah, yeah uh, that's the first place to go. I would I would say. Yeah. I would be thinking I would be thinking too bad, man. It'd be most like starter basics. You're most likely going to be saying small and insignificant. Like it's nothing too bad. There's no oil coming out. There's no fucking. Yeah. Thank fuck. Out. Yeah. It's not fucking. Sound like it's gonna blow up. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Uh, so I wouldn't be too. Wouldn't be super worried. Struggling to idle. What was that? What was that? Power steering. What was playing up there? Power steering, apparently. Just go again. Go again, really quickly. <laughs> look out! Jeez, mate, look out! <laughs> yeah, I think you're outnumbered here, mate. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't be causing it to idle funny, though. No, no, no. Yeah, if we got loose, it's loose. Yeah. Like, that wouldn't be causing it. No. If you're getting air in anywhere, you're fucking... You know what I, you know what I want to fucking do? I want to take this off and I'm like, look. Because that's fucking rattly as shit. It's just the in fucking... There. It's just this. Yeah. Like, yeah. Hold, if started up and someone holds onto that, you'll Yeah, I did it. It stopped the rattling. It's, it stopped the rattling, but yeah, it's coming from over there. So, what, what was that code again? Was it the. Oh, timing, yeah. Yeah. position timing over advanced bank two. Yeah. Yeah. So, it'd be skip the tooth. Hey, what's um, C? this bastard there <laughs> on the left side <laughs> hey guys what's up um, I just wanted to give a quick little backstory as to what uh, the issue was in regards to Brennan's f6 yesterday um, so basically what the go was is uh, he pulled off the track after his car just completely bogged down uh, wouldn't wouldn't hold idle uh, yeah Basically, there's a number of things that it could possibly be. Um, could be, you know, as simple as the throttle body sensor could have uh, been unplugged by accident or it could have gone faulty. Um, uh, cam angle sensors, it could have been anything that was kind of done to it. Um, so after starting the car a few times, uh, we decided to check the codes and stuff like that. And I believe the code that came up basically said that the timing was in advance. Um, so basically, that could have been, could have been it skipped a tooth on the timing belt. It could have even just had a cam angle sensor, um, possibly faulty, or could have possibly potentially come out because they can rot away uh, over time with heat as well. And I've also had an issue with mine as well, where mine just literally like. When I was trying to pull it out the first time, it just snapped. The plug just snapped, and I was like, "Oh, okay. <laughs> what do I do now?" Sometimes they mainly hold in, but you know, obviously there is a chance with you know high horsepower engines and stuff like that for the vibrations to make stuff become loose. Um, so it could have been something like that. Um, however, he's going to take it back to the tuners anyway because he was going to put it on E85 because um, he had the car in storage for a while back on 98. Um, he had to get it tuned back to 98 because he's on SCT as well. He only has uh, 98 tunes or E85 tunes. So basically, yeah. He's going to go back, get an E85 tune, also going to fix up the uh, timing issue as well. Apart from that, 
His car, honestly, is exactly what I want my XS6 Turbo to eventually be like. Like, I have no want to make it like that instantly, but just the way his screamers sound, the way his car feels, oh, it's just, it's incredible. And to be honest, like, having that manual as well is just crazy. I want a manual so badly. Um, but I'm kind of thinking, like, at the moment, I really want to build that car, but... I know I also want a track car instantly, and that is my first priority, is to get the track car first and then sort out the stuff with the Falcon, because I don't, obviously, I don't want to go like a 3582, you know, make 600 horsepower in an auto and have a low mount and just stupid stuff, stupid stuff like that. I want to make my car insanely talky, I want it to sound ridiculous, I want it to have a high mount with a plenum and it's going to sound mad, you know, there's so many things I want to do to that Falcon, um, but I basically like that. That F6 is beautifully made. Such a rad car to be a passenger in. So I want to thank uh, both of them for letting me have a go in their cars, as well as Max for letting me have a go in his as well. Um, you guys are all excellent. You guys are all awesome people to uh, to hang around with. Um, yeah, I hope you had a really good uh, night, and I hope everyone watching this video really enjoyed all those awesome sounds. I think the audio really went well in this video. Um, I didn't change anything, but I tried to keep all the cameras out the wind. So, yeah. But um, if you guys like the video, remember to leave a like. I really, really, really appreciate it. And uh, if you guys want to subscribe to all the awesome videos that we're going to be doing very, very soon, um, that'd be wicked. I'd love to hear all you guys' thoughts about what you guys reckon about videos and everything down in the comments. But if you do like it, remember to subscribe. I don't even know what I'm talking about. It's so confusing. Um, like the video, comment, subscribe. Go check out my other videos because that'd be rad. Um, yeah. Peace out, guys. I really appreciate it. Bye.